Hello everyone, welcome back to Sims and Notches. Today we have another interesting tutorial and this is on how to draft a cow neck dress. So please, if you are here for the very first time, thank you so much for joining the family and don't forget to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, you're so welcome and thank you so much for joining us again. Now, please make sure you share, like and comment down below on what you want us to feature on this channel. Without any further ado, let's get started on what we have for you today today these are the tools that we are going to be using today today we have our pattern master we have our masking tape we have our straight ruler we have our pencil I've got my marker here just for you guys to see what I am drawing and I have got my notcher I've got my paper scissors my tracing wheel and my pattern paper so for today's tutorial, this is what we are going to use. We are going to use our previously drafted pattern. So if you've not seen the video on how we drafted our dress pattern, I suggest you click the link on the screen and that will take you straight to how we drafted our dress pattern. So if you've got that sorted, let us get started with what we have for you. So we are going to start off with the front pattern, the front dress pattern, and I am using a different color of marker so you guys can tell the difference between what we already have and the new pattern that we are trying to draft so first of all starting from the neck area i am going to square out a line and that line is 24 centimeters so i'm going to place my ruler here at this point i'm going to place my ruler here 24 centimeters and I'm going to draw a straight line. So that is 24 centimeters. Next, I am going to measure from this point to this point. That is the bust line. So that is 15 centimeters. I'm just going to mark that there. And on this line, I am going to measure 24 centimeters as well along the bust line. So 24 centimeters, I'm going to mark that there. So we have this line and this line. I'm just going to draw that. So now we have this line and this line. So next on the very first line, I am going to mark downwards four centimeters. So I'm going to place my ruler here and draw a straight line downwards four centimeters. So I'm just going to draw that here and that is four centimeters. So once that is drawn in, the next thing we are going to do is to measure on this bust line, I am going to measure 20 centimeters. And I'm just going to mark that 20 centimeters. So what we are going to do, we are going to join this point to this point to give it a curve. So from here to here is 20 centimeters. So we're going to get our pattern master and we are going to draw a curve. Joining both points together like so. So once that is done, I am going to measure from this point 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters, and I'm just going to mark that there. So from this point to this point, which is the bust line, so this point downwards, I measured 10 centimeters. So from this point, I am going to square out going towards this way, but I'm going to measure 24 centimeters. 
so this is 24 centimeters then we are going to join this line to this line with a curved line So at this, from this point to this point, I am going to place my ruler on the waistline and I'm going to measure 21 centimeters, 21 centimeters. I'm just going to mark that point there. So from here to here, I am going to join that. So along the hip line, this is the hip line, I am going to place my ruler and measure 25 centimeters. So I'm going to place my ruler here and mark in 25 centimeters, 25 centimeters. Then I am going to join this point to this point and as well around the hemline i am going to measure 26 centimeters you can use 25 or 26 it's totally up to you depends on how free you want the hemline to be or how loose you want the hemline to be but i'm just going to use 26 because i don't want it too close to the body so i'm going to just put in 26 here giving it that kind of um a line silhouette so once the hemline is done, I will go ahead to join all the points together using my pattern master. And that will be all for the front pattern. So for the back, it's a bit simpler. What we need to do is to measure from the waistline. We are going to measure 12, 12 centimeters from the waistline. That is 12 centimeters from the waistline. And we are just going to square to the side seam. So next we are going to measure 21 centimeters along the waistline so we're going to place our ruler or our measuring tape on the waistline and mark in 21 centimeter and we're going to move over to the hip line as well which is 25 centimeters I'm going to rule that and that is 25 centimeters we're going to mark that there that's 25 And for the hemline, we're going to do the same, 26 centimeters. And now we're going to join from the waistline to the hip line down to the hemline. So you're just going to blend the waistline like that. So now for the back, this is what we have for the back. So you need to measure four centimeters downwards and that will be for the facing. So four centimeters and we're just going to square that this is for the facing so as you can see it's pretty straightforward using your dress pattern it makes life easier so all you need to do is to trace round the new pattern that is our cow neck dress pattern and 
we need to add our seam allowance and i'm going to show you on our next video how we cut this pattern out on our fabric and how we are going to make the cow neck dress and for the back is going to be placed on fold for the front is going to be placed on fold as well because of the style that we are going for and don't forget to trace this in a separate piece this is a separate piece this is the facing and the other piece you're going to include this with the back pattern so this is the normal back pattern that you need to trace then after you finish tracing this whole pattern you are going to trace the facing for the back pattern i hope that makes sense and once you're done tracing make sure you add all your seam allowance so for mine i am using one centimeter for my seam allowance feel free to use whatever um, allowance that you need for your seam so once our pattern is created we are going to trace off this pattern and we have to get a fresh pattern paper and place this over a newly drafted pattern make sure you see all the way through and you need to follow in the lines So now we have traced out our pattern and we've added all the seam allowance for the strap because this dress is going to have a strap so for the strap it is 34 centimeters long so 34 centimeters long and three centimeters wide that is what we're going to use for the strap and remember it's going to be placed on the bias as well so we are ready to cut this pattern out I'm going to get my paper scissors and we are ready to cut this out so now we have our patterns ready for our car neck dress so for this pattern, you would notice that we have a true bias line instead of a straight grain line. And this is because we are going to be cutting our patterns out on a fabric that is folded on a bias, not on a straight grain. So that is why we have a true bias line drawn on our patterns. So if you want to see how we made our cow neck dress on our fabric, make sure to comment down below like and subscribe and please share among your friends as well and don't forget to have a wonderful day until next time bye for now